Good morning everyone, welcome to this week's video. So we're out on the River Waveney again today. So this is a spot I've never ever paddled before. We're further up the river, up near Homersfield today. We're in a pack raft, we've got a fishing rod. So let's get it pumped up and see what we can catch. Interesting to see whether this is good enough to pump up the pack raft. It is a bit cooler today. We had a bit of a ground frost this morning, so you can definitely feel that uh, November has, has hit us today. So we're on the River Waveney, we're at Homersfield, we've got the main road uh, that leads uh, to this just behind us here. I've never paddled this stretch of river, so I don't know what we're going to expect. So we're going to get the, uh, the X1 inflated and we'll get down the river and see uh, whether we can catch anything this high up and especially because it's November as well. So I'm going to have a go at using an inflation pump to inflate the pack raft today. I found a little USB rechargeable pump on Amazon. I'll stick a link to that in the description below. So it is just a tiny, tiny little USB rechargeable pump. So uh, we'll have a go and see whether this works to get the uh, pack raft inflated. certainly beats uh, using the inflation bag definitely takes a little bit longer but um, but yeah it certainly beats having to faff around with the inflation bag yeah it's only about 20 quid I think on uh, on Amazon anyway let's get this fully inflated and uh, let's get along the river Beautiful morning though. Let's see how tough this pack raft actually is. Let's see whether we can push this log out of the way. We made it! stop here for a second so we're just sitting on a bed of sedge at the moment that's uh, grown up there's a bit of a flow coming through here um, it might be a bit too quick to be catching anything but uh, we'll give it a go we'll just swap over cameras and uh, we'll see what we catch it's the only issue with the river this far up is when you get blowdowns there's no one managing the river right Got here. Something of some size actually. 
bugger, we lost him. That was a good size, that was a really, really good sized fish. Anyway, let's try again. Well, Some old fella's just had a pop at me saying I'm not allowed to fish this river because it's private, which is an absolute load of tosh. Uh, some, some clubs might control the riverbanks, and that is private fishing, but there's no law saying that I cannot fish out of this boat along here. Might be private on the banks, but not be fishing out of a boat. So if anyone tells you anything different, it's a load of tosh. Right. Well, no fish today. Nice just to get out though. Bit of a push in the river here. So We've made quite a bit of distance and I don't want to be spending all day pushing back against the flow to get back to the van that's in Hummersville. So this is going to be a really, really nice paddle if you can put in at, say, Hummersfield and get picked up or stick another vehicle down in Bungie or Ersham. I mean, the river's quite clear. I mean, there was that little section further up that took me a bit to get through. But this time of the year, there's a bit of a flow in the water. So I'm going to put my arms down and start making my way upstream. now and we're pretty much back now so this is the road bridge and then you've got the old old bridge just in front which is where we set off right so that's basically wrapped it up for this week's video thanks for watching this week's video if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button just uh, below here and as always there's a couple of videos there for you to take a look at so that is a complete virgin part of the river here uh, from Homersfield further down towards Ersham hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully we'll see you next week on the next one